Hi, I want to give you an update of the work that we've been doing to integrate H5P into BigBlueButton. So here I have two clients. The left is the instructor and the right is the student. So if I set things up, as I activate or move through the slides, uh, the student on the right sees what I'm looking at. BigBlueButton has this concept where it, when it reads the slides into memory, it will read the text for screen readers and in doing so it can analyze the text and see if there are certain patterns such as a question at the top followed by ABCDE. If it sees this pattern it will prompt the user to see would you like to do a poll? Looks like you have a poll question. This is just a standard PowerPoint slide with alphanumeric and we call this a smart slide. And what it does is it saves the instructor time to initiate some formative assessment for students. So if I do this, uh, let's say I'm going to click here, then Big Blue Button will initiate a poll. Uh, what is the rings of Saturn's made of? I don't have to type anything in like I was using Teams or Zoom. I can just do it with one click. And here I'll give the answer ice. The instructor would see the results coming back. And also Big Blue Button has this concept of a learning analytics dashboard, which allows the instructor to review students' activities during the session and the poll results without having to remember it. It reduces the cognitive load to provide more time for active learning and feedback. So I can give feedback to students based on the results. Okay, so all this is in place, and now let's show what we've done with H5P. So imagine you are in a class, and you would like to do an active activity using H5P. So we have a plugin architecture in BigBlueButton, the newer version, and we've built uh, H5P into it. So what's happened here is I have a slide uh, what are the world flags? This is a matching activity, and I want to initiate it. So let's click Play H5P. You'll notice on the right that the activity is launched, and I can start interacting with it. So uh, let's see if I do France, and I think I'll do, I'll make a mistake here and put Italy here, or Mexico here. Check. Actually, I got three to five, three to six. So if I look over here as the instructor, it shows that I've got three out of six. So notice what's happening. I'll do it again, but slower. As I interact, the instructor is actually updating to show what students are doing live. And let's do the mistake here. If I check this, it now chooses, I only got two out of six right, and it shows two out of six. So just like the polls, it's giving you live updates of what the students are doing. And if we look at the learning analytics dashboard, it has this new option called H5P, where it shows the results of all the students. So this takes the asynchronous H5P activity, which normally would be in the LMS, brings it into a live interactive activity. Same code, we just wrapped around it and bit it inside a big blue button. And this goes back to what the whole mission of big blue button is to provide more time for active learning and feedback. H5P is the active learning. More time is that we're able to have the instructor set it up ahead of time and their slide where they can click a single button. And that analytics gives them the ability to give feedback to students in the moment and increase the learning outcomes. And that's what we've done so far with H5P. It's still work in progress. If you have any feedback, let me know. But uh, we're really excited about how far we've been able to get so far.